Hey guys and welcome to Clockworks. This is a action adventure casual indie strategy game developed by GameSoft, published by GameSoft, and release date was October 10th of 2016. We're going to go ahead and give this one a shot. Uh, I do not know anything about this one, so uh, I'm hoping it's good. Now I will use the Xbox 360 controller if at all possible. It still sounds a little loud, so let me lower that down a bit. That sounds good. All right, Grind Town. All right, Xbox 360 controller works. Uh, left and right is pretty simple. A button is to jump, and that seems like the only button that does anything. So, it's supposed to be a puzzle-solving game. Looks pretty cool so far. Care for a repair, sir. I have just the fix for you. Keep your ticking through another day. Bugger off. <laughs> Jeez. How about you, sir? Just a little fix. Won't take long. Do I look broken to you? Get lost, boy. <laughs> and you, sir? Temporary, of course, like all fixes. But it might help. Otto, there's work to be done. There's always work to do. Just leave us alone. Well then, does anybody want to know the time? No, no. I'll tell you what you can do with that watch, boy. <laughs> All right, I'll be back tomorrow. This kid, he's already taking some uh, some flack from these kids, these, uh, these adults here. Press the button zero button to jump. Oh, didn't quite make that one. Here we go. <laughs> I almost killed my guy. All right, just in the time for dinner? What are we going to get? Well, for nothing, really. How about, can I jump off of the wall? No, no Batman type stuff. But I can climb rather good, actually. Press the button 2 to interact with objects. Alright, so that's the X button to interact. No fixes today. It's kind of slow. It's a, you know, it's a nice little start. Oh, and there we go. The beginning of the game. So that was just basically a tutorial mission built into the game as a intro. Which, you know, in its own right is not bad. I kind of like when they do that stuff. And the, uh, the fact that you're kind of going through the intro as your own character you're able to move through it perhaps tomorrow i'll unfix some things <laughs> just so he has something to repair all right level two more difficult than level one all right we got an object here we can interact with opens up the door always work to do in watchtower See, is this a ladder? Can we go up it? Yeah, we sure can. It's a little quiet. Not a lot of background music going on. Now, I did lower the background music a little bit, but switch to switch. All right. There was a game that I played on the Nintendo, I believe. Maybe it was a Super Nintendo, called uh, The Lost Vikings. And it reminds me of this one a lot. Gears to turn. Um, this gear right here? We turn it. All right, so that's not much there. But yeah, it reminded me of that one kind of um, in the sense that you're solving puzzles. This one really hasn't given you any hard puzzles to do. I kind of wish that maybe it started off a little faster already, but... Ah, factory section, 101B. That one, you had access to three different characters, and each one of the characters had a unique ability. One carried around a shield, one could jump, the other ones couldn't, and I believe one had a sword. So, one could defend you while the other one protected you, and the other one could jump over them, and I should have jumped that. All right, let's go back up. And using all three abilities, you ended up being able to solve whatever the mission was. Very important section, so... I do not want to drop down on the other side. I'll drop down over here. Open up the door. 
as a case so far this game is not too bad it's better than bloody boobs and bunny hop uh, anything would be better than those games for those of you guys that didn't get to see that stream of those games they lasted for all of about four minutes uh, if that <laughs> they were broken pretty much so finding a game that's enjoyable uh, you know is the first step and then finding a game that's challenging is the next especially when it comes to puzzle ones like this uh, portal is another good game though it certainly is nice and complicated yeah, not too bad it's easing you into it really really nicely very very just kind of like okay this is what levers do kind of get used to it all right stop that one it may only stop for a short amount of time it was built for a purpose <laughs> like in galaxy quest who built this why yeah, a little leap of faith right there couldn't really see what was down there below you especially those crushers they must be very important oh almost missed my ride Gotta be paying attention. There we go. A little lever there. Let's see. Come yeah. on, guys. Give me some action. Right, we're going down. 523 and 40 seconds. 41. 42. Ah, it's not working. Time to go home. It looks like it's broken in the background. Level six. These are very, very short levels. Here we go. Get some interaction going on. It's broke again, boy. Only ten. What sort of shabby repair job is this? Hello, Magnus. Fix it again at once. At once, do you hear me? Good as new. Nothing is new, boy. Don't be impertinent. Well, perhaps that pocket watch of yours. I've always had my watch, sir. Which has never once broken in 400 years. Damn suspicious, if you ask me. You can't even fix a leg properly. <laughs> nice to see you too, sir. Pardon me before you go. Do you want to know the... Nobody talks bloody notice of bloody time. <laughs> I guess nobody cares. Then maybe it's about time they did. Oh, we got uh, we got somebody coming in. What do you say, boy? He's just gonna walk away. He's like, I'm busy. It's a nice looking little house, though, man. Kind of futuristic. If it was a click and play game, you could definitely see a lot of stuff in there. You might want to grab a hold of. It's a she. Thank you very much. Wow, it goes really fast on the. Uh, on the conversations, almost to the point where, like, I'm not even clicking anything. Otto, I know this is great. Oh, see, look at that. But, but, who are you? What are you? All these years, I, I hardly know where to start. Don't. The power generator's over in District 6. I need you to take me to him. <laughs> All right, well, there's a story there. If you guys want to pause and read it. Let's see. Can we interact with anything there? Well, we can go down the tube, apparently. Level 7. Stop. Hmm. Where are we? I believe this is section 105D, junction 221A corridor. Shh. I was talking to myself. Oh. Wait here. Okay, can we can we interact with this? No, doesn't seem like we can interact with that at all. So there is a overall story going on. I don't know what it is. <laughs> every every uh, little scene that you have here is a new level. You can now use Millie to move around the level and see further than Ada. Uh, Millie can also stop and start time using the button zero button. Uh, press the button six button to use all right so now we can control ooh and we can go through stuff can we can we access this kind of peaceful music oh here we go how about you
So, do I want them to line up? Is that how? Yeah, I think that's as close as we're going to get it. All right, how do I how do I get out of Millie? All right, back button on the 360 controller is how we do it. Looks like it lines up there for about half a second. How about you? Okay, so it just teleports you back. <laughs> One of her talents. Okay, so how long does it last? Ah, it disappeared. So I keep showing my old self doing it. Ah, look at that. Okay, so I'll let my guys go down there. And we'll run across. It's kind of interesting. It was making a little clone. So it has gotten a little bit more difficult as time goes on. I think if you judge it very quickly, you might be kind of disappointed with it. It doesn't throw you in the deep end right off the bat. Which, you know, for somebody who's coming to a puzzle game for the very first time, might appreciate, you know, the... Uh, the slower version. <laughs> so, not uh, the best situation. If I go back, will it rewind time? Wait for me. Oh, almost got cut in half there. Let's give my time or my guy time to get over there. Still fairly simple. All right, so he's going to access that one. I'm going to let this thing come over here and I'm going to jump on it. I was talking to Thum yesterday, and he said to me he likes chicken. <laughs> uh, you know, this robot over here, he may like chicken, too. They haven't shown any animals just yet. It's just your main character, a few very, very angry older in individuals who I guess have been working on this clock for a very long time. And uh, oh, look at that. That's cool. So you got to stay on it just long enough for your guy to get across. Uh, two, two, two. I get the feeling that's going to kill me. Yeah, I, sh I should have listened to my feelings. <laughs> that's not a good idea. All right, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Let's go. Actually, we need to. Uh, should have jumped it. And then hit this little thing right here. Okay. So, this is going to take a little bit of time. We're going to have to wait for my guy to get up here before we can pass it. Oh, yeah. That sucks. Okay, that should be enough time. Let's go downstairs, create our clone. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to... 
We're gonna have to go the long way. All right, figure it out, ghost me, of like four seconds ago. All right, level 11. Booking it. Okay, so there is a uh, treadmill down there. So let's use the treadmill for a few seconds. And let's go through. down there through this. I can fall down. Come on, me. <laughs> Alright, should be able to make this jump. And that should open up the door as soon as my other self falls down there. Really, really close to the Lost Vikings. It's just, I miss not being able to switch between, you know, myself equally like I have to do it earlier and if you make a mistake there's a good little bit of waiting period there where you have to let your other self figure it out and that just slows things down a bit a little bit of story going on down there on the bottom if you guys are reading that his parents have died or he thinks they died in a plague Uh, not a good idea. There we go. <laughs> Probably should have done that right off the bat. Now I'm going to have to wait for it to come back, I think. Maybe. Maybe. I think I may have messed this one up. I might have to leave the screen and come back. See if that uh, kind of repairs it. I do like the uh, the steampunk kind of uh, vibe that you get from it. Um, I can't leave the screen and come back. Hmm. Well, what I could do is turn on the, uh, the smasher and then uh, I guess kill myself. <laughs> it's the only way I can see resetting the day. There we go. I got crunched into nothingness. Let's do this the right way. Yeah, I think this puzzle right here needed a little bit more tweaking. They need to give you a way to rewind time rather than kill yourself. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My timing could have been a little bit better. All right. Well, I think we know how to solve that puzzle now. It's just uh, coming down to the timing. see if we can get past this mission and then I think we'll end the episode after this and go to another game uh, this is a really cool game if you're a big into puzzle buildings or uh, you know puzzle solving I should say then this will probably be the game for you if you're not so much then uh, it may take a little bit of time for you to get through some of these there we go 
Actually, I don't even have to be in that big of a rush on that one because there was no turning back on. I thought for sure once you went through the portal, those little switches would kind of reset themselves, and it didn't. So I kind of like that. Level 14, I think we're going to go ahead and stop on this one, guys. Uh, again, this is uh, Clockworks. If you are big into puzzle building games, I would kind of recommend uh, maybe giving this one a shot. Uh, if you're not so much, then you might want to... Uh, you know, maybe skip over this one. It kind of cool. Starts off a little slow, starts off a little easy, but as you can see, it gets progressively more difficult as time goes on. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.